Hello YouTube, back again with another pickup video. This one should be short and sweet. I'll try not to drag on about the smaller finds I had this time. Uh, not a whole lot, haven't been out a whole lot. Um, just kind of working my way through summer. It's been hot, things like that. Managed to get to a few yard sales and a couple other places. But without any further delay, here we go. All right, this stuff here, came from uh, some retail shops. Uh, first off is GameStop, which uh, a lot of people don't like GameStop. I don't mind GameStop. I think you can still find pretty good deals there occasionally. Uh, my son's really into like his 2DS, so I've been buying some stuff for it lately for him. First off, I found uh, this game, which is a uh, Square Enix game. I didn't get great reviews. Uh, Mindjack. So I thought I'd pick that up for $2.69. I'm not going to pass that up. Why would I? So, Mind Jack for Xbox 360. That's a little newer than most stuff I buy. Uh, then I got Steel Diver for 3DS. This is like one of the release games for 3DS, so it's super cheap. It was $2.24. I think you can get the new one for $2.99, maybe. So, I just grabbed a used copy because it was there. And then uh, Sonic Lost World. Uh, not great. Not a great Sonic game. It's, it's okay. Um, I bought that used, too, for $25. So... Got that. Uh, then I went to V-Stock the other night and I uh, happened upon a couple of Sega Genesis games in box, which is very rare at uh, V-Stock, especially if it's not a sports game. So I got Championship Pro-Am. It's in the hard case because I believe it came in a, in a soft case also. That's complete manual, obviously. And then I got James Pond 2, codename Robocod. So I picked that up. That's unfortunately not complete, but uh, nonetheless didn't have it. I think I paid $2.99 for that one and $1.99 for that one, so it's a pretty good deal on both of them. And then I've been to Game Trader 2, of course, again. And Charlie Shaw's Chuck, uh, obviously that's his store. So he usually throws some little bargains in a bin, so I got Guitar Hero on Tour Decades with the, the little adapter piece that goes on the GBA or I mean DS uh, for 49 cents. Then I got Rise of the Kasai for PS2 in an old crap GameStop case, just the disc of course. I uh, never played it, I always heard it was pretty good, so I picked it up for uh, 19 cents. I'm gonna drop something. Then I was in there again, uh, and then I, I forgot I actually had told him to hold this for me. What we have here is a PAL version of uh, Final Fantasy VII. So, pretty cool. Comes with the Final Fantasy VIII demo disc. Um, obviously, I paid a little bit more for that, but kind of to go in the collection. I'm probably not going to go after all the PAL stuff, but, you know, this one's complete. Got all the discs. Got the Final Fantasy VIII bonus demo disc. Which came with it, and as you can see, this is the platinum, platinum hits version. So, but it's pretty cool to have. So I was happy to pick that up. Uh, then I went back again the other day, and I picked up a couple NES games I didn't have. Surprisingly, Bad Dudes and uh, American Video Entertainment's F15. So I picked up those two in there, and then you just kind of threw this in. It's a uh, Pokemon Yellow. He gave this to me for free because somebody traded this in, another guy we know traded this in, and it's got a repro label on it, which is, uh, of course, a fake. And then the battery's dead, so it doesn't save. So he just threw that, he just gave that to me. He said he couldn't really sell it, so he's like, you want it? And I was like, why not? I don't really collect Pokemon, but I'll throw it on the shelf for a conversation piece. So, got that. And then I, uh, I ordered from a uh, store online called Murph's Game Rehab. Uh, pretty good website to check out. He stocks stuff occasionally. He picks up stuff, stocks it in his store. Great prices, good shipping charges. So I got Afterburner from Tingen and Road Blasters, which I didn't have either one of those, so it's nice to add those to the collection. And he also threw in a little uh, mushroom perler, so that's kind of cool. Just a little shelf piece. So I put that on there. My son is knocking on the door. Uh, then I went to some yard sales and uh, I got 
an Atari plug and play. A Power Rangers plug and play. And a Star Wars Darth Vader plug and play. I think I paid a buck a piece for those. And at another yard sale, I picked up a uh, PS2 Slim, and that was three dollars. So, and I've got some cords for that. I think I'm gonna throw that in a contest. Uh, and then, so that was a pretty good deal. And then uh, I'm having another meetup at my house for the St. Louis Retro Gamers, and uh, I decided we'd have a contest. So I got on eBay and tried to get a copy of uh, a game I wanted to do for the contest. Uh, it's disc only, and I got it for 15 bucks, which is a pretty darn good price, actually, even for disc only. And it's Ikaruga for GameCube. Pretty awesome space shooter uh, slash, I guess, shmup, shoot em up. So I was happy to get that. It just came in an old GameStop case, but good deal on it for 15 bucks. It was a best offer, so, you know, if you ever see a best offer, throw a best offer out there. They might take it. I didn't think in a million years the guy would take that offer, but he did. And then lastly, I did a trade on, uh, on a Facebook group, uh, Trade, Sell, Collect, I can't remember the whole name, uh, and it was uh, with a guy named Billy Collins. I traded him a Donkey Kong Country, and uh, I've been wanting this for a while to add to the Final Fantasy collection. So I got the Final Fantasy 12 Special Collector's Edition, which is in the, um, the steel book, which is pretty cool. It's got the manual and the bonus disc in there, so both discs. Very cool, very happy to have that. So that's it. That's all I got this time. I told you it would be a fairly short video. Um, like I said, we're having another meetup here soon at the end of this month. So I hope to get a lot of stuff to show off to you guys. Then again, maybe I won't. Who knows? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.